Hi, and welcome to the MechWarrior 2 DOS installation guide by Mech2.org. I'm going to cover three main subjects. First of which is which versions you should avoid or buy. Second, how to get MechWarrior 2 DOS installed and configured on XP. Third, how to get DOSBox configured properly for MechWarrior 2. It would be important to note that the DOSBox section does work on Vista, but it requires a little bit of extra configuration. I will not be covering that on this video. So let's begin with which versions you want to avoid. First up, we have the AOL soft key version. This version is bad not only because it has AOL on it, but it lacks all the music tracks for MechWarrior 2. If you're a fan of MechWarrior 2, you really want to avoid this. Now for the good versions, we have the NetMech Edition. This is a retail version. It has 95 and MS-DOS on it. DOS is pre-patched to 1.1. Next up, we have the Mega Media Bundle. This is an OEM version. It is pretty easy to get on general and it's priced usually pretty well, cheap. Next up, we have the Essentials Collection. This is a UK version. It's generally really expensive, usually, at least for us here in the US. Next up, we got the IBM CD-ROM version, 1.1 or 1.0. This has just simply got DOS on it straight. It's perfect if that's what you just simply want. So let's move on to the installation of MechWarrior 2. Select mints.exe, or it could be install.exe or underscore mints.exe. It all depends on which version you're using of MechWarrior 2. I am using the Mega Media Bundle for my installation. So mm -hmm. click it and let's see. We got the 16-bit subsystem error. Hit ignore. And when this comes up, hit fail. You'll be fine. Hit any key and hit yes. The screen's going to go black for a second, so patience please. Alright, now on to the next section. We got the MIDI driver. Select Sound Blaster 100% compatible. You're done okay. Do the same thing in the digital section. Accept the settings. Hit escape. View or change installation settings. You probably want to change the performance options and get all of them set properly. You'll, you could do this in game too, it doesn't matter. It's just my preference. So let's begin the installation. You want full blown, and that's it. It's now installing. In the meantime, it may be useful to note that we are going to need Clone CD for the DOSBox section. So if you need it, go to slicesoft.com and you can download the demo for free. In fact, why don't I show that? What we're going to do later in this is to make a ISO basically of the disk for DOSBox. So what you would do is open clone CD, select read to image, select your drive. Alright, see. Now if you get that just ignore on clone CD's pop-up. Select game CD. Make sure to create a queue sheet. And you probably want to save to somewhere where you know. I would just do like C slash uh, see DOS box here. We can use that later for our installation on DOS box. Like save it there. Name it something other than image, but for now I'm just going to leave it that. Then you hit it OK and that's it for that it'll, once it completes you should have everything that you need for the DOS box section now back onto the installation of Mech 2 hit bypass and then just hit any key you don't want to boot disk and you're done we now need to patch the game to 1.1 you must do this even if you already patched that because this patch in particular has a fix which enables us to use the game. If you don't have the patch already, it's at mech2.org slash downloads slash fixed underscore patch 11.exe. 
Now you should have, after the installation, a new entry into the Start menu. Here you'll find the resolution fix. This resolution fix will fix it so that you can run the 1024 resolution in game. It is very handy. There is a drawback though, and it's very big. Windows XP Service Pack 3 does not work with this fix. If you're on SP2 or SP1, it should work though. Another thing to note is you must type yes exactly. You cannot just type Y or capital Y. Now we also have MicWord 2 DOS and this will launch the game. You must have the disk in the drive and it must be the D drive. The Mech Lab section here will allow you to just edit your mechs. It will not launch into the game. So if you try it will crash. Next up is the sound configuration. You can edit any settings there. I've also added a nice little utility called MechMan. This is an old utility from a long time ago, but it's still kind of handy. It allows you to look at your mechs and see what's in them, pretty much, without launching into the game. This pretty much covers the whole section here. So now our next section is to cover what how to get DOSBox working. Now I need to note that DOSBox requires a relatively high-end system, maybe something built in the last three to four years at least, at least 2.2 gigahertz minimum. You can go with less, but you're not going to be able to get full specifications. If you haven't already downloaded it, go to DOSBox.com, go to the download section, click the Windows package if that's what you need. I already have it downloaded though, so let's open the DOSBox to configuration file which you can find in the start menu. Change full screen to true, change full resolution to fixed, and also in the memory size section you're going to need to know how much RAM you have. If you do not have at least 256 megabytes of RAM, you're not going to be able to really run this very well. If you have a gig, try maybe 500 or 256 to start. Now I mentioned older systems. You can change how many frames is skipped by DOSBox with this frame skip thing to like you can change it to like three or zero or whatever you want to change it to. It depends on what you need to do. You'll have to mess with that by yourself. But before we go any further, we need to copy the Mech2 folder from the C drive or wherever you installed it to the DOSBox root that we created earlier. This is necessary because we cannot set C as the main root. If we do, we're asking for trouble. So in order to avoid that, we're going to use DOSBox folder as the C root for DOSBox. As you can see, I've already done it. And your paths are going to be different than mine, so modify them accordingly. As you'll note here, there's also an IPX line. You want to change that to true. You also want this IPX net connect line here if you want to play multiplayer. If you don't want to play multiplayer, just remove it. The mount line, as I mentioned earlier, and now we also have the image mount line. This here is from the Q file that we created earlier with the whole ISO. Change the path to whatever you have for your current path. And that pretty much wraps it up. Before we finish though, why don't I show you that it works? Open up DOSBox and I'll just type CD Mech 2, then type Mech 2 in tab, and I got Mech2.exe up. As you can see, I'm in trial grievance in a second. There we go, now it's up. And I'm not going to launch in because it'll crash on my end since I'm recording, but otherwise, as you saw, it worked. If you want any more resources on Mech2 or want to say hi to someone, come on over to Mech2.org. We'd be glad to have more people. We also have an IRC server going and you can find us at irc.outpostuniverse.net in the channel NetMech. Thank you for listening and I hope this... Hi and welcome to the